Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let, we are going to do a new topic, chapter 12, that is the visualizing the solid shapes. I already started uh, chapter 10, I have done some part of it, but simultaneously I will do 10 and this 12 as well. So here we we'll see the part one of it. So now let us see some of the things what you, you should know from this one before we start with the innings. So there are actually two parts of this, uh, two types of these shapes. They are the plane and the solid shapes. So actually the figures that are defined by, by only one dimension, they are called one dimensional figures and they have no width or thickness. So which are they? They are the line, line segment and a ray. And the plane shapes actually they have two dimensions. Well, they have the that is the length and the breadth, and they are also called as the two dimensional, or also we call as the two D shapes. Which are the examples we can give that as triangle, square, and parallelogram. And the solid shapes, as I told you, there are two shapes that are plane shapes and the solid shapes. The solid shapes have three dimensions, that is the length, breadth, and the height. And they are also three-dimensional. They are called three-dimensional or they are called the 3D shapes. For example, that is the tube, cuboid, cylinder, cone, tetrahedron, and triangular prism. So again, what we can see that solid figures, they can be classified again in two groups. They are also called as the polyhedron and non-polyhedron. So in polyhedrons can be classified with like prisms, pyramids, and platonic solids. So again, prisms will be of two types, hexagonal prism and the triangular prism. And the pyramids will be of two types, that will be triangular pyramid and the pentagonal pyramid. So now let us see something about the platonic solids. So platonic solids, they are the tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron, and the icosahedron. And the non-polyhedron, they can be classified as cylinder, cone, and sphere. So these things you should know. What is that before you start with the innings now? So now let us see. They said name the solids that have four faces. So it is a triangular pyramid. Five faces and five vertices, that is a square pyramid. Two pentagonal faces and five pentagonal rectangular faces, that is a pentagonal prism. Two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. That is the triangular prism. How many faces, edges, and vertices does each of the following solid figures have? Now, tetrahedron. So, this is a tetrahedron. So, now let us see how many faces are there. So, you know, faces means this one, this one at the side, and th this is one. At the front, this is at the front, this is at the front one, and one at the base. So total will be four faces. And the edges, edges are this one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the vertices, vertices are this one, one, two, three, and four. So we can say these are the faces, these are the edges, and these are the vertices. Again, for rect rectangular pyramid, this is a rectangular pyramid. So that is 1, 2, 3, and this, the fourth one, this one, fourth one, and this is one of this one base. So there are five faces, and then we can see the edges, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Eight edges, and the vertices, we will see that is 1, 2, 3, 4, so this one, two, three, four, and this five. So these are the vertices of it. So we can write here five, eight, five. Then the hexagonal prism. So now what, what we can do here? We can see the first is the faces. So this one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and this is bottom one and the top one seven and the top one this is the top one this is one of the face the top one so eight eight faces then we have to see the ages one two three four five oh, sorry now let me do like this one two three four then five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and this one seventeen and one more there is here it should be eighteen so you can count it now see here uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and here this one this is eighteen this one so eighteen so eighteen they are the, the ages and twelve vertices one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and this twelve so now this is octahedron so this you can also check with this one that should be eight twelve and six so now we are filling the blanks using euler's formula and also name the solids form so whatever is written here in the yellow that is already given the white ones these are the answers of it so now the this is called the euler's formula that is f plus v minus e that is two so what is f we don't know here yeah. v is five e is eight and this two so what will be here minus eight plus five will be minus three so f minus three is equal to two so f will be this two this will go on this side so plus three that is f is going to be five so this is five so which one that is the solid is going to be whenever we have that is five faces five vertices and the eight edges that is going to be a square pyramid you can have a look at the square pyramid and just check it so now we'll go for the second one this is this is not given the vertices is not given of this one 6 and 12 so now again we'll use the same formula f is 6 and this is 12 the vertices is not given is equal to 2 so this is the ULS formula what you are going to use so now when we do this one minus 12 plus 6 that is going to be minus 6 plus v is equal to 2 so v is equal to 2 this goes here that is going to be plus 6 so v is 8 so this should be this v is 8 in place of this one so that should be a cube or a cuboid both is the same so you know this is a cube and this is a cube should be a square and the cuboid is going to be a this one in this one so this will be a cuboid so cube should you can write here like this you can make it like this at a square and the cuboid is going to be like a rectangle so the cube or cuboid so now here f plus v minus e is true so f is given that is 8 6 and this so e is not given so you can write here the e is not given so 6 8 plus 6 is 14 and this will be 2 so here what we can write here you can bring this here so 14 minus 2 is e so 12 is equal to e so what is the minimum number of faces that a polyhedron must have a polyhedron must have actually the minimum faces should be minimum four faces so what name what, which is the prop this one that polyhedron name is that will be tetrahedron so by this one we have completed today's work please like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you